Hello everyone, my name is Rafis and welcome to 1 million hacker. Today we are going to learn about GRE protocol. I have divided this session into four parts. First, we will going to learn about what is GRE, why we need GRE, how to configure GRE between Zscaler and Sophos XE, and how to troubleshoot it. So let's get started. So what is GRE? GRE is a protocol that encapsulates the packet. It transports the packet from one public network to the another public network. It will add the normal packet into the GRE header and as per the GRE destination gateway, it will send it to it. It will not maintain any state it is completely stateless that, that means each tunnel point does not keep any information about the state or availability of the remote network but if we set up primary and secondary tunnel at one gateway node then we can monitor it using GRE Keep Alive and HTTP based monitoring. Let's see why we need GRE. Well, GRE support multicast broadcast where IPsec only support the unicast network. It will support Keep Alive in case the primary node become unavailable required minimal overhead of four bytes of GRE header and 20 bytes of IP header. That means if we are sending any packet, it will add only 24 bytes of header, total header. That means we will able to get more bandwidth. And in Zscaler, it will support up to one GB of bandwidth. So the requirement for the GRE channel is we need the static IP and GRE supporting device. So let's look into the GRE packet. Yep. So the normal packet, we will have the IP header, TCP header, and data. In the GRE encapsulate packet, we have 24 bytes of extra data, which consists of IP header and GRE header. This IP header will be the consist of source IP address and destination IP address of GRE channel, means this will be our public IP address between both points. And here we will have the GRE header and this will be encapsulated into the normal packet. As we have this 24 bytes of extra header in the network, it will get fragmented or dropped. To avoid this, we need to reduce the MTU size and MSS size. So we need to minus 24 bytes from our actual MTU size. Here, if we see, I have 1500 of MTU size. Depending on your organization network, we need to calculate this size and add the MTU size. So here I have 1500 bytes. So I have reduced it to 1476 and MSS to 1436. So let's start the configuration of GRE between Zscaler and Sophos XE firewall. All right, so let's start with the configuration step. So in the Zscaler, uh, we need to follow three steps. First, we need to add the static IP address. 
this will be our public IP address. Like we can in the in the Google, we can type my IP. We will get our public IP address, or we can contact our ISP. Here, uh, we need to navigate to administration, static IP, and we need to add our public IP address. On the same page, just go to GRE tunnel, click on add GRE tunnel, and select the public IP address and click on next. Here, we will get the recommended data center. Also, we can select manually, but I am keeping as recommended. Also, we can choose this option, which is domestic preference, which means uh, it will only select uh, the country database, data, data center, which are in. And we can click on next. Here, we need to select the internal IP address range. I am selecting here this one, which is ending with zero. And this will be of slash 30 notation. So we will get eight IP address. So we can configure for primary and secondary. Uh, I'm clicking on next and saving this one. So let me give you that example of IP address, the internal IP address that we have selected. So why I have selected zero, uh, it will be easier for us to assign IP address. So the zero will be the network IP and the next IP address will be the one here. And it will be the tunnel uh, IP address in the firewall site, in our firewall site. So this will be for primary and this will be for secondary. In case this fail, this will take over. So uh, the third step is we need to add the location. We need to go to administration and location management. Click on add location, add the name like test, country, uh, state you can add, time zone. Here we need to select uh, the IP. We can click on turn. So here we got the tunnel information. This is for primary and this is for secondary. And that's it, we can save this configuration. Oh, there is a valid array, double check the field. Okay, okay, location type we have missed. So let's select the corporate user traffic and let's save this one. And we can click on activations. So that's it from the Zscaler side. Let's go to our firewall. And so let's start the configuration in Sophos XG firewall. So first we need to create the firewall role from VPN to LAN and LAN to VPN. So let's see. So here I have created two firewall roles from LAN zone to VPN, and another will be the VPN to LAN. So the next step, so we need to log in to the, to the firewall via CLI, and we need to go to device console. Uh, I'm going to device management and advanced shell, then here I'm typing CISH to go to console. So this is our primary, node where we are connecting to and this is our internal range so here is the first command so this will be our tunnel name gi tunnel name and this port b is the firewall public ip which is linked to and this is the this is the node that we are connecting to and uh, this is the range so here we have the 240 so 241 will be in our tunnel source and 242 will be the other side. So let's copy this one. Go to here. Let's add this. 
all right so it has been successfully added let's uh let's add the second command uh here i am i'm adding the internal network to go via gre channel All right, so it has been added successfully. So let's see the tunnel. So here we can see the status has been enabled. Let's see the route. Yeah, so this is our private network and it is going to GRE tunnel. Let's, let's see here. So here we can see, or uh, we got the GRE tunnel interface. And here we can see the MTU size at 1376. If we want to change this, we can do it via this command. Like here, I'm adding the interface name and this is the value. Let's copy this one and paste here. Now let's see. So here we can see it has been updated. Now, if we have done any mistake in our configuration, then these are the two commands that we can delete the tunnel and we can delete the route also. Yeah, so here it is. And uh, yeah, that's it uh, for configuration. Uh, let's, 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 let's see the, uh, let's see the troubleshooting part. So in the troubleshooting, obviously we need to check the GRE configuration, whether we have done any mistake or not. Second, if we have configured, uh, if we have configured the primary and secondary uh, node and it is getting flipped, then we need to check uh, whether we are receiving the keep alive or not. Also like 70 to 80% ISP will block the GRE packet, but the ping will be allowed. In the in the SOFOS, uh, we can check the firewall rule. We can uh, we can check the packet capture on on the protocol forty seven. And uh, yeah, that's it. If if we are still having the issue, then we can raise one ticket with SOFOS, and this are the information that is needed by the GES team. So we just need to send the screenshot, ECP dump, and the support access ID and the framework version. So that's it for today. Thank you.